Okay, this piece is the sirloin tip, which is like a quad muscle uh, above the knee. Uh, the way we take this apart, the piece underneath here is very football-like. On top of the piece, when it's given to the employee, uh, this is called the tri-tip. It's for sale as a beef cut in the store. We remove it and turn it into hamburger. So there's a seam on each side that's pretty visible. So the tip of your knife, you crack that seam. Remove the tri-tip from the sirloin tip. It will then go on the table. Use my curve knife. I'm trying to slice off the outside skin, piece of fat. And the curve knife is for? The curve knife is for doing all of the cleaning and fillet work. Uh, so I take, on a lot of the pieces that I'm cleaning, I will clean off the up, upper surfaces. This back side is an exposed, dirty surface, so I get that flattened out, and then once I get it clean, I can fillet off the piece and leave the contaminated part on the table. And this dry, crusty piece will be discarded along with this fat. The next phase, there are two sides of this. There's one side, which is the outside of the leg, which comes to a very smooth end. The inside of the leg is always going to have just a little piece right here. If it's clean enough, that can be removed. And on an elk, of course, it's much larger than that and added to the burger bucket. Then the next step, there's a flap on the underside of this piece. So I start on this inside edge. Base to tip on my knife, nice smooth draw. How do you know which is the inside? Well, the outside doesn't really have an separate pieces. The inside will have a couple of pieces stacked here that you'll see. Uh, okay. And that's the first one that I cut off and threw in the bucket there. So then you're, this whole thing has got an outside skin on it and that's what we're trying to remove. So I, I'm going to cut back any of the pieces that you remove and take off. Um, if you get a little more meat than you want to, you can lay the, the crusty skin down and shave off what's edible and remove what's not. So I shave up just a little bit on this and then there is a, a seam here. This is what we're going to remove. I run the tip of my blade and separate down this white tendon here. I refer to this as a flap, which I use in several different areas, but this flap will come out. Once it does, there are three components to this flap. Take this little crusty piece off here. Uh, the, this is all going to be hamburger, so this comes out. It looks all clean on this side, but there are two pretty good tendons here. So this first piece, I can just cut off, throw into the burger bucket, these other two pieces, on a deer like this, I could flip it over and do it all in one move. On an elk, I will typically separate on the seam, flip this over. The tendon then lays flat on the table and you can slide your knife along the tendon and remove the meat and leave the tendon on the table. And do the same thing for the other piece. So you're using the tendon that you're trying to remove as the tool to remove it. The knife will slide very nicely along that edge, uh, along the tendon rather. This goes in the garbage. Okay, so this is what's left. This is the sirloin tip. This is the piece that will be uh, cross-cut into steak. So all that's left to do... Okay, so this is the sirloin tip that will now just be cleaned. The tri-tip has been removed off the top. The flap has been removed from the underside. And now we are just going to skin off the silver skin of this piece. This has to be done with some precision. So you're getting under this tendon and your blade is angled slightly toward the tendon, but not so much that you cut through it. I like to go both directions with the knife. I think this helps build dexterity for the, the job as a whole to be able to go both directions. This can be taken off very thinly. 
If you do cut a little deeper than you want, you can lay the flat piece down, take off anything that you missed. It's clean enough. Anything discolored, make sure that it's off. Come in from both sides. Just removing the tendons and the silver skin. And anything discolored from aging. And that is pretty much a sirloin tip that is now cleaned and will be staked in this direction uh, when it makes it to the steak department. But this is the job, is getting the piece clean, and there it is. That goes in the bucket.